Dun, 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 dun. What's up everyone, it's me, Super Viggy here. Today, we're going to be playing Mafia 3. So, uh, I'm a little, uh, I think I'm a little sick right now, but that won't stop me from shooting people. So, let's start a new game, shall we? And, since this is nothing but story, let's just put it on easy. And, uh... I guess low. <laughs> so, let's just uh, jump into the story now. <laughs> Don't worry, it's just loading. So, yeah, I'm a little sick right now. My nose is stuffy. My ears are a little clogged up. Don't even know if I'll be hearing well like y'all would. Don't even know if I'm talking loud. It takes place in a, a version of the American Booth, 1968. Okay, yep. Uh, um, please, we had a real. If y'all, okay, I'm not reading it all the way on, like I said, my brain's not in it, so, y'all can go back and, uh, pause the video. Oh, 58. No, wait, okay, that beginning did say 68. <coughs> I am sorry. Mm-hmm. Boys like Lincoln, one man, many man. 
Ah, here we go. Now we're into the game. <clears throat> feed a gator two chickens, 75 cents. Wow, you actually get to pay the to feed the gators? Huh. Okie dokie. Let's see. Where are the keys? Keys in the other room. Grab them so we can get the hell out of here. Really? Oh, square. Still not sure about leaving him like this. He came through mm -hmm. with the truck just like we asked. Mm -hmm. He his part in to make it look good. Mm -hmm. If you got doubts, mm -hmm. why take a chance? Goddamn. <laughs> we should get going. You got the keys so you can drive. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Eh, whatever. Oh, what the, what the freak? Oh, wow, this, that's the GTA. You get a move on. Let's go. Let's see, hang on. And looking around. Gosh dang it, let me look around. Actually, I should probably go. <coughs> oh, let's get in. Come on, stop fucking around. We gotta schedule the key. Oh, cool. Okay, what the heck? This seems like GTA kind of controls. What the freak? Okay. Uh, why am I crouched? Let's go, man. The clock's ticking. Uh. Okay. Let's go, man. The clock's ticking. Ah, there we go. Let's see here. Oh, cool. Take it easy heading to town. We don't need the cops crawling up our asses. My old man wanted us to keep one of the guards alive, help throw the feds off the trail. Like you said, I take a chance. Besides, if I learn anything from being over in Nam, someone's willing to flip sides once, they're probably willing to do it a second time. I'll fuck you in the process. So answer me this, what's the craziest thing you saw over there? You don't want to know. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, Georgie Marcano pays taxes. 
Damn right I do. That's how they got Al Capone, and I ain't going to prison for no fucking tax bill. Huh. <laughs> you gonna answer the question or what? Yeah. We on the coast of Quang Nai. Evacuating the civvies for Charlie overran everything. Anyway, we get him onto a medical ship, and this woman walks up. She's got a baby in one hand, and the leash to a pig in the other. She starts up the ramp, and the MP stops her and tells her, you can only bring one thing on board. So she tosses the baby into the water. MP goes ape, tells someone dive in after the kid, starts screaming at the woman, wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. You know what she says to him? She says, I can always have another baby. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh. Hey, man, you asked. <laughs> yeah, but I thought you were going to tell me a story about some gook getting his dick blown off or something. I mean, god damn. It's not a fault. But not like you think. The conditions over there, man. Jesus Christ. One day you're raising cattle, tending your rice. Next day everything bomb flat. You put people up against the wall, they will do anything to survive. That better have been one delicious fucking pig. Please tell me this isn't like GTA. Gosh dang it. Okay. Someone tells me this is nothing but story, but. Aw, oh, come on. But this isn't like a Call of Duty or whatever where you're automatically at your location. Gosh dang, it's like GTA. You gotta get to your location. Yeah, let's just turn that off. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oop! Guards at the reserve probably won't be too keen on you waltzing around with that piece of yours. I'll just leave it under the seat. I am glad I didn't get caught on just now. Because I probably would have. Time to see if these forged IDs are worth a fuck. Okay. Oh good, I didn't have to worry about it. Yay. When I say something about being hot, that's when we make our move. All right. Now, here we go. Put your IDs up the glass. We're part of the Boeing crew. What the fuck's this shit heel doing here? Affirmative action. You know how it is. Old country is spinning around a goddamn toilet. You can follow me. As for you, go on and grab those bags off the truck. You'll be carrying them to the burning room. How much y'all bring in? $238,546. Small bills, mostly. I'll let Miss Gale call up to your office when we're done. She'll confirm the delivery. Appreciate it. <laughs> you 
Need to check that scatter gun. You packing anything? Still in training. Good. One less goddamn thing for me to worry about. You can pick it up on the way out. <laughs> Buying rooms down in the cellar. This way. I ain't seen y'all around these parts before. Y'all's over in Georgia for a while. He just Hold got on, we're burning service. this money? And my cousin's been trying to get on here for over a year now. Is this Was in the Navy fake for two money tours, that got metals won't out of his work? Ass. Government tells him thanks, but no thanks. Uh. That's a crock of shit if I ever heard one. Sad day when a god fearing white man can't get a job. But ain't your nigga who staggers in his hide on the spot. You bastards better not be playing with each other back there. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! Christ, look at that. Didn't know y'all held that much gold. That Washington's been shuffling around on account of the war. It's here, and it gets sent to Dallas, and it comes back. And it doesn't make a lick of goddamn sense. Here we are. Those bags on the table there. <coughs> I've done this detail before. Figured it'd be bigger. And it gets the job done. Only time there's a problem is when the flu clogs up. Fuck. That's some heat right there. We used to use coal for it, but a year or so back we switched over to oil. Maintains a more consistent flame. Here's some guy come around the house trying to. <laughs> God, that guy was an asshole. We need to move. Danny and Ellis should be coming up any time now. Uh, give me a second. <clears throat> right, you take care of those guards. Keep your ass down. You don't want them getting a drop on us. I know what the fuck I'm doing. Crap, I forgot what it was. I am fucking exhausted. No, that's to climb up, so... Gosh dang, what was the button? that <laughs> okay come on really so this is to run obviously but where's the uh we've been renting out called over there last night told them I wanted to sell it told them they needed to be out in two weeks and the man his name's uh, John starts laying into me saying the lease gives them the right to a 30-day notice that's how he's supposed to find a new place in two weeks so I tell him none of that's my goddamn problem it's my property and I'll do with it what I please and if it brings up that fucking lease again I'll use it to wipe my ass and make him eat it not only that I know he's friends with a couple of niggas, and they go over there at night and play cards. Told John when they moved in that I wouldn't tolerate niggas on my property. 
neighbors see that, they start questioning me, wanting to know the kind of people I associate with. Let the niggas play cards with other niggas, I say. Fucking assholes. Sorry. It just gets my blood boiling. <sighs> Get over here, man. Let's see, quick swap is. <laughs> for it, Godzilla. So Jesus Christ is a fucking robbery. I'll go for help. Need to get behind something. Take it in his ass. Catch right. Oh, catch right. I know you do not. This is a goddamn massacre. Mm -hmm. out of here is if we get the weapons stored in that armory. Bust the door open. I'll watch our asses. My old man gonna shit a brick when he hears about this. Fuck! Fuck! Come on, open! Give me that damn thing. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Freak? Oh my goodness. Oh wait. Mm. Oh really? Uh, let's see. Forty two. Yeah, let's grab that. No, not you. 
No, actually, I'll take you back. There we go. Nope. Oh my goodness, this is very... Are you freaking kidding me? Hold on. You, you're not going to let me take it? Hold on, are you freaking kidding me? Are you- Oh uh, my goodness, you're seriously not gonna let me have it? Okay. Okay, fine, be that way. Shit, man, these guys ain't fucking around. Face okay. way worse than this over in Nam. Little smoke don't mean shit. Stay close to the vault, watch for the drill. I'll deal with these assholes. Oh, hi. Uh, okay, I died. Yeah, 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 I got routes. Oh, there you go. Okay, I see. Oh, okay, that's... So Sammy's doing all right. Ever since we got your telegram about coming home, he's been climbing the walls. What if the plane crashes? What if the train's delayed? What if the <coughs> Damn, you're scratching the paint! Where was I? Ever since we got your telegram about coming home, he's been climbing the walls. What if the plane crashes? What if the train's delayed? What if they call him back? And he goes stand in front of the kitchen window and sip his whiskey like he was expecting you to come strolling up the sidewalk. Don't say nothing about me telling you that. I won't. He'll be fine once he sees you. Ever since Mama Hell, you know how he gets. Oh, hey, man, be careful.
Uh uh. You remember Marty and Ron Langford? Sure. They moved up to Empire Bay a year or so after you shipped out. Started selling weed. They call and ask me if I want some. I say sure. It's free money as far as I'm concerned. Anyhow, a month back, Marty drops me a line and says they're moving into heroin, that they're looking for a partner down around these parts. Can't imagine Sammy was too keen on that. I never told him about the weed. That ain't nothing to nobody. But this, I gotta talk to him about. I ain't said more than three words, and he's yelling about the feds. How we don't need J. Edgar up our asses, and what the fuck am I thinking? Selling dope with kids running around the neighborhood. Well, we ain't sick. Fuck it, it's your car. Bash it up all you want. Anyway... I ain't said more than three words, and he's yelling about the feds. How we don't need J. Edgar <laughs> up our asses, and what the fuck am I thinking? Selling dope with kids running around the neighborhood. We ain't selling no dope to no children. <laughs> like they got any money to begin with. <laughs> Fucking around the side. That was pretty serious shit. Knew a couple guys over in Nam who were running it. Wound up... Damn, you scratching the paint! <sighs> like I was saying... Knew a couple guys over in Nam who were running it. Wound up pissing off the wrong person. Got their throats cut. Shit, man, I know what's what. That's why I'm talking to Georgie about it. No way Sal's gonna go along with that. Georgie says he can keep his old man from fighting out. We'll steer clear of the high low in Frisco, just selling the French wall. Georgie's Uncle Lou won't say shit as long as we give him a taste of the action. I don't know, man. Georgie's a cool cat and all, but heroin ain't the kiddie pool. Come in on it with us. I bet he'd agree to a three way split. I don't know. I kind of need to lay low a bit, figure some things out. Yeah. All right. Ooh, that was another cop right there. Ah, this was the bridge. Really? You had traffic here? Uh, bull crap. I don't see no damn traffic. Oh, that was it. Yeah, fuck it. It's your car. Bash it up all you want. Really? Come on, we're going through the front. I ain't having your wall here. I ask us to back down. <laughs> Oh, crud. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to click the... Let's see. Microphone. Boom. Ah. <coughs> uh. uh, shut up, Katorna. Did I just... Did I just say Cortorna?
I just said Cortona. Okay, well, hopefully this is a safe point, in a way, so, I hope y'all enjoyed, uh, apart from me being sick, I'm, my apologies, I'm hoping I can get better, but, uh, so, uh, uh, leave a like, uh, subscribe if you haven't, if you want to keep it more, and I don't care really if you get notified or not. I mean, in my opinion, don't really worry about that stupid bell thing, because you'll just keep getting, I want to say spammed, but if you do it for other YouTubers that post daily, you'll just be getting it every single day. So, uh, so don't worry about that. If you want to, though, then go ahead. But, so, let's, I hope to see you on the next video. And, off I go!